Okay. Hello, everybody. This is Randy Baxter. I'm the president of Asset Positioning Services. And uh, we, the past several weeks, we've been talking about things to consider. I'm going to do a kind of a combo class today. Uh, we're going to talk about a little bit about marketing, and then we're going to uh, take you for a tour through the software a little bit as I use it and, and uh, see if, if that'll help you all uh, generate the sales you want. Uh, so anyway, the topic today is the complete family estate docs process. I almost think we won't get through the whole process today because I'll probably get a little wordy. I'll try not to, but uh, we're going to try to uh, go through the whole process as, like I said, as I see it. So you, some of these slides you're going to have seen before, uh, and then some you may not have seen before. So, so anyway, I want to start out with that old Chinese proverb that I keep saying to you: to get where you want to go, state the answer. And then ask the questions how to get there. So let's just stop right there a minute. Uh, there's a lot of you new folks on here today. Uh, a lot of people who haven't done a lot of business with us in the past. And that, that's who we're wanting to talk to because uh, a lot of our folks that are that are rolling uh, because they've absorbed the training don't need it. So, um, so I just want to ask you the question. Uh, where do you want to go with what you learn from us at Family Estate Docs? Where do you want it to take you? Um, it can take you to some really cool places if, if you want it to. So, uh, so the next thing, the same is true when you use the family tree asset positioning process, you know, so, so I've told you it's, it's all a process. We take you through the training process first, because I think people have to be trained before they get coached. And the ones who get the proper training or who allow the, who allow the proper training to be absorbed are, are going to be the most coachable. So, so I'm trying to get you trained and I'm going to move you into our coaching program uh, step by step. And the end goal is, is for us is to develop the licensee into a productive and profitable licensee. And, and the, you know, the definition of what a uh, productive and profitable licensee is so varied that I'm going to show you why here in a minute. Um, so the question is, so where will family estate docs and the family tree asset positioning system take you? So, and, and then I can look at you and say, where is it you want to go? For the purpose of this session, the training lesson, I want to discuss many topics as they relate to the goals of the company. So first, let's discuss those goals. And, you know, and, and folks, what I have found is if your goals are congruent with my goals, we make a lot of progress. When your goals are not congruent with our goals, we get a lot of uh, what I call stutter stepping or a failure to launch or or uh, uh, just lots of things like that. But if you're if you will just try to look at your goals and try to make what you want out of this meet what we offer, you'll see quick growth and pretty high incomes. So uh, my goal at Asset Positioning Services is to be a profitable financial services organization with a minimum net income goal set each year. My minimum set income goal uh, for this year was about 500,000, but I think we're going to hit 750. So, um, you know, sometimes you exceed your goals and don't mean to, but I, it has been, uh, um, I didn't plan for the energy that it was going to take. Um, but a lot of it's happened because of, of agents like you and licensees like you who show up for these meetings. So my goal for family estate docs licensees is the same. Just remember, a goal without a plan is just a dream. So, so if I can just get you to write down, you know, where you want to go, you know, we can ask the questions how to get there pretty easily. So, so as I grow older, and gosh, I do grow older, I realize my goals change. As, as will yours, if you build your business according to what you want from this project. And see, you can be in total control of that. Some of you are new to our industry and want to build a career. You are deciding on a process and want to develop the correct habits in order to build momentum. You know, once I get an, a licensee, uh, get them, get their momentum going, they, they, they're so happy. They're they're working hard um, as hard as they want to, and they've got the income they want. But it's it's because of establishing momentum. Eventually, my goal for all my licensees is that they become independent and profitable, using the front end and back end process I teach, but also includes the future sale. Now, I could be talking about that all day, and I won't. 
Uh, I like to think this process is, is like a, and we've, uh, I've told you about my ivy approach. Uh, if you ever tried to grow uh, ivy on a wall, it works like this. First, it sleeps. You don't think it's ever going to go anywhere. Then it creeps. It starts moving up the wall. And then all of a sudden, you wake up one morning, it's up toward the ceiling. It, so at first, it sleeps. Then it creeps and it leaves. And, and, and that's what happens with this process. So, you know, this pattern uh, even happened to me. I started out slow many years ago. And I gradually saw the relationship of the results of establishing a properly designed estate plan, the funding process, and life events that turn into the future sale. And, and I used to call that the sweet spot. I still do. Those of you who want to learn about the sweet spot, send me an email and I'll show it to you. Uh, uh, it's just a spot where people want to do business with you. So as I began teaching this process, I learned I could be in many places at the same time if I had licensees all over the United States who learned how to implement this process. The process I eventually learned should be called the cycle of success. And, you know, uh, and, and as many times as you've heard me say that, it, folks, it's the ones who use it are the ones that are growing the fastest. And and we teach that uh, on, on Mondays and, uh, at 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock and 12 o'clock. And I do not let people advance to the higher classes unless they prove that they have successfully mastered the class they're in. There, there are many classes on the cycle of success, and we I'm not going to go there today. Uh, it's all in our Monday training series with, grad, with graduated coaching. So, you know, if you're not responding to those Monday emails or if you want to be included in those Monday emails, you need to let me know. And now, uh, some of you, uh, if you're already making... Two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars a year, and you say, "Hey, I want to attend class three without class one and two. I'm gonna say, "Okay, come on." But, but if you want to be in class three and you haven't generated any sales, I think I'll do more damage by teaching you an advanced class than I would by teaching you an introductory or or a I'm not gonna call it a beginner class, but a basics uh, a basics class first. So, so uh, um, I want you all to be participating in those Monday classes. Um, We've, we've taken a lot of time to make those happen for you. But the first stage I want to discuss in the licensee development is the sleep stage. And there's a couple of you here, I think, are in the sleep stage. Uh, the stage where a new licensee first entertains the concept of adding estate planning to their product and service portfolio. That That's a, that's a, um, sometimes it's a 10 day or, or two week or three week process. Sometimes it's been uh, a year and that's okay because, because, People just have to think about what they're doing here before they absorb it and, and start emulating it. So stage one, I'm going to call a new licensee. You know, um, some of you are in stage one and you're not new licensees. You've been here for a, a long period of time. Uh, there's a reason most of the time uh, that, that somebody who's been here a long time is still uh, in the same phase as the new licensee. And most of the time it's because they, there's failure to take the initial first steps. So a new, new licensee can come from many stages in their career. They can have an already developed list of clients or no clients at all. And that's what, that's what we deal with here. Some people come in and say, uh, how can I present this to as many people that have already done business with in the past? And some say, hey, I haven't done business with anybody in the past. Can you help me? And the answer is yes. So the true issues are variable in why a licensee wants our training and coaching services. If there's a hundred of you out there, there's probably a hundred different reasons. Some seize the opportunity, except uh, somebody doesn't know how to spell opportunity. Uh, some see the opportunity immediately and implement immediately. They understand the big picture and are self-starters. Uh, folks, we've got licensees that come in on day one and start writing business. There's a little group down in Florida. I'm just so impressed with them. Uh, they've done 43 cases in about four months. You know, and, and and you know, it's because they want to. Now we're going to talk about that here in a minute. But but uh, so th there are some on the other end of the spectrum who have no clients. And if that's you, that's okay. We can work with that. I can st we can start there. Even if you don't have any clients, I know you know 600 people. But uh, some people have little experience. And some are looking for structure. 
Our program can be adjusted to fit the needs of all the spectrums in between. I do, you know, the only thing I need from you is for you to talk to me and help me uh, diagnose where you are so that I can teach you the things that get you into the next stage. I don't mind. I'll help. Everyone starts where they are. Everyone who wants to work with me has to have the same three qualifications. And I, I'm really serious about this. You know, if, if you don't have one of these qualifications, um, I'm probably not going to want to work with you. So, you know, write these down so that you know what they are. And, and you heard me talk about it last week. You know, you have to be able to do the work. Now, you know, that can mean lots of many things. It can be technology. It can be health. It can be uh, uh, outside interests. It can be grandchildren. It can be whatever. But you have to be able to do the work. So, you know, and sometimes I have to just ask people, hey, you know, what makes you think you can do this? And then other people that just got it down so good. The next thing is you have to want to do the work. It's best if, if inserted into your 90 day plan. Uh, that way you can figure out what days you're going to do things. Uh, we had some people that showed up for the nine o'clock class last week and, and who agreed to attend the 10 o'clock class uh, yesterday who didn't show up. Uh, and I'm sure there's good reasons and, and, and real reasons and, and all, all those things. But, you know, uh, if you showed up for the Monday nine o'clock class and, and developed your suspect list and then did not show up for the 10 o'clock class the following Monday, that it concerns how to convert those suspects into prospects. Um, you probably got an email from me. I'm not fussing at you. I'm just saying, okay, um, do we need to talk about why you didn't show up to class? Or you might say, Hey, I had other things to do, or you might say, Hey, there was a hurricane, you know, or whatever. Okay. But you have to want to do the work. So that's, that's the second one. You're able to do the work and you want to do the work. And then the third one, you have to be willing to do it. You know, so, so um, in my early life in, at the New York Life Insurance Company, I was a procrastinator. And I would say, and, and maybe I still am a little bit, I say I'll do that tomorrow. But, but uh, sometimes I say I'll do that tomorrow because I don't have time to do it today. But some people say, I'll do that tomorrow because they, they want to find a reason not to do it today. And there's a pretty big difference there. So, so you know, when, when, as I'm talking to you, I'm, I'm always evaluating, you know, what is this person saying to me? What, what is it they really want? Um, but at the same time, I'd rather just ask you. So the next thing is you have to be able to identify where you are at this place and time. You know, um, I like that clock. Isn't that a cool little clock? The, um, the time races by. So, so if you say, Hey, I, I need to have a hundred thousand dollar net income, annual income as quick as possible. That tells me if you divide that by 12, uh, you got to have uh, 80 something, $8,400, $8,500 a month. And that's the answer. Then all we have to do is ask the questions how to get there. And that's very, very easy if you just start off with 10 people. And, and, and you know, sometimes, sometimes I think that that's hard, that people think that's hard. And sometimes uh, they think it's hard until I say, you're a scaredy cat. Or I say, why, why did you not pick 10 people? And why would it take you longer than a week to select 10 people? And then other people, they come in and they get their 10 people in 15 minutes and, and they're rolling. So, so anyway, you have to budget your energy and time so you know when a task is to be completed. Okay, I know tomorrow I've got to go, uh, I'm going to be delivering three state plans uh, 100 miles away from my home. And, and, uh, but I also know that that the odds are I'm going to come out of there with a second appointment either two or three times. That's going to be a couple hundred thousand dollars each. And then this morning I was trying to decide, do I really need that much income next month? And and I, I, I thought, well, 
no, but I've got to get the work done. So, so there's different different types of conflicts on 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 your time and your energy. Um, but you have to be in charge of that yourself. So, so the next thing is you need to know your vocabulary and your products. And folks, if you're not doing your homework. And 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 come in and not knowing the, the the trustor trustee the beneficiaries the successor beneficiaries the successor trustors the power attorney for healthcare all the vocabulary that you learn in the thirty day training then if you if you're having issues with the vocabulary just let me know and and either Wynn or or Lisa or I will get the email to you that that teaches you just vocabulary we ha we have all that we have all the tools you ever need so. So the next thing I want to look at is the sleep stage. This is when a new licensee must identify the avatars and must develop the persona and must make the initial approach. You have to wake up to that opportunity, the need for implementation and the need for commitment. Or you can just be like my buddy there in the window, just stretch and yawn and, and uh, not get very far. But But some of you... On a 40 hour week that you've already got 29, 30 hours planned. So it's hard to to find that extra 10 hours. But if you get it on your calendar, you'll be fine. So so some new licensees start making the commitment immediately and take the step the following steps. They take the training. They eat either the 30 day free training, I call advanced training spoon fed, or the fast track training that can be accomplished in one weekend. You can do it either way. You know, the most successful of our licensees do not have the haunting I call procrastination that so many financial services reps seem to develop over their careers. Some do, some do not. Who are you? So, so um, I want to talk to you self-starters. If, if you're here and you are a self-starter and you know it, and those who see the potential capitalize, uh, can capitalize on the training and move into the coaching phase very quickly. But once I see that you can carry on a conversation with me about estate planning, I'm ready to start coaching you. If you cannot carry on that conversation with me about estate planning, I'm going to try to keep training you. But they, you know, you need to see the need uh, and, and to own your own estate plan. Folks, I'm just telling you, if you don't own your own estate plan, you're making a mistake because you're, you're lying to your clients. It makes it easier to give the proper advice when prospects ask them what they own themselves. So, so it's just so important that you be able to look them in the face and say, this is what I've got. The, uh, many licensees just start approaching existing clients with the approach techniques we teach. You know, if you've got 10 clients, you, you're home free. So, so, you know, if you, you know, some people say, well, I got 100 clients, but I don't think 30 or 40 of them want to do business with me anymore. Then don't approach them. Approach the ones that want to do business with you. You know, I will teach you what works, and there's no need to reinvent the wheel. You know, if you're a licensee who's entrepreneurial in spirit and understand the implementation process, and that was my word this year, my word for 2024 was implementation that they, they see the advantage of making the front end sale and what it leads to in a relationship with a client. You know, is that what you're looking for? Why not use the family estate docs, the family tree asset positioning, go to first interview. It works for everybody. So, so, and some of you've seen this slide before, but most people are not from Missouri. That's the show me state. Okay. Some buy the program and are very slow to implement. My question for those of you who are here who are slow to start or slow to implement, um, what be honest with yourself and 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 come to the conclusion of what's stopping you. Once they once you do implement, the sleep stage is over. Many stay in the sleep stage for up to a year, and that's the some of the people that are here. Some people stay in the sleep stage about two or three hours. And move on. They they move up and and more before realizing what an opportunity they have purchased becomes a reality. This process will lead you to 
to as much money as you want to have, as much income as you want to have, if you can stick to it and, and make it work and understand uh, that that you're going to make some mistakes and that 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 uh, all you got to do is go back and fix them. So anyway, first it seems uh, first it sleeps, then it creeps. And here's why: sometimes it takes four to six or seven weeks to get to that second appointment, that 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 go back or that back in sale. But if that if you haven't gotten to the back end sale yet, increase the tempo on the front end sale. You'll eventually get swamped. That's what I've been doing this afternoon is trying to figure out uh, how I'm going to have time to go to, to some of my back end sales. But but uh, you know I I do that because I use the same approach over and over, and that by increasing the number of times I implement the approach, my income tends to go up. And, and like I said, it can take between 30 and 60 days of implementing properly. It can take a year if you do not implement properly. Uh, and if you do not implement the proper training and proper coaching programs as taught, why would you change them? If you make a lot of money and change them. I don't care because I don't care if you uh, innovate, uh, at, uh, if, if it's good for you, but, you, but if it's not good for you, you need to emulate. So, this is why I encourage new licensees to start with 10 of the easiest suspects on your list. The easiest suspects, because I want you to get some uh, victories. I want you to, to see that they, you can help these people. People who people you know would benefit from a conversation with you about their current state plan. That is the simplest uh, door opener that any financial services person can use and my question for those of you who are slow starters or haven't written a business in a year, and some of you written more business in, in a month than, than you've seen in a long time, I, I'm not sure why it seems so hard to do when you look at the profit potential that can be generated so quickly. So here in a minute, I'm going to take you over to the software, and I hope I can get it done. But uh, uh if you as a new licensee are in the sleep stage and want to break out, all you need to do is find the starting tempo that you're comfortable with. It's my belief that that 10 new people a month is, is one of the is sufficient. Some sleepers never accomplish that. And whatever the reason, uh, I've heard people try to explain it to me. And I, I go, well, whoa. But anyway, uh, 10 people a month. And if you want to double your income, 20 people a month. So, so people give me good reasons and real reasons. Some of those reasons are good. Most are bad when it comes to not being able to launch. They're not convinced of the value of the opportunity. Uh, they have something I call uh, inaction analysis paralysis whatever they think they will be accused of practicing law you not not if you follow the rules that we teach they bring the same bad habits to this project that they bring to all projects and because you know because of those bad habits there, there's you know what they couldn't sell six months ago they, they they switch products and they can't sell the new product because they have the same bad habits some have an internal lack of confidence that disappears when when they implement and experience maybe six or seven times out of the 10, they, they realize, Hey, that's, it, it was ridiculous for me to be scared. It was ridiculous for me to, to not implement. And what did it cost me? It's money I can never recoup. So, you know, the surest way to break out of the creep stage is by creating tempo. We talked about tempo last week, you know, work the first 10 suspects. Replace each one when they say no or yes, and you only need one uh, S on the end of that word. Yes. I, I'm sorry. I put two in there. Uh, but, but you know, you're making an offer. That's all you're doing. You're just saying, hey, I think you would benefit from a conversation with me about your current estate plan. That's your offer. Have a system and a presentation that is proven to work. Increase velocity as you become more confident because you do your homework. And you gain experience as you increase your tempo. You know, uh, if 
folks, if that that's the way to go. If you reread my book, if you go in for those who uh, have my ebook, uh, Approach, Plan, Succeed, in the back pages, you learn about the four stages of growing your estate planning practice. I sort of think mine's in stage four. Um, we have lots of people writing estate plans. We have lots of people selling products. Uh, we have lots of people attending classes. M many of you in the sleep stage are trying to enter stage one and have a hang up somewhere in your mindset. Um, and, and you'll probably never make it to two, three, and four if you don't deal with the mindset. So, some of you even get upset with me when I show you the problem in your mindset. I'm sorry if I, if I hurt your feelings when I make the proper diagnosis. The, the prescription is always the same. But if I dance around it, and don't make it and don't just look at you and say, look, this is what you're doing wrong. You need to do it right. And, and as soon as you're ready to do it right, join us. But but, you know, you can do it right very, very slowly. And that's fine. Just implement. Emulate before you innovate. So uh, breaking out of sleep mode can only lead to the creep stage that allows you to set the tempo and to see how easy it is to increase the tempo once you learn how easy it is if you use the cycle of success. So, uh, you see, any ivy vine, when it begins to move forward, will, will begin absorbing nutrients as it begins to spread out. It goes into the leap stage when it learns the process. Where are you in that process? I, you know, I, I hope some of you will ask me questions here in a little bit or send me an email and say, this is where I am. If, if you're honest with me and tell you right where you, where you are, I promise you we'll be able to get you where you want to be. So as you begin to expand, you'll start making back-end sales of, of life insurance, long-term care, and income products. Soon you will start making future sales. Um, it's real easy to make about 4,000 from existing clients if you want to. Um, those people who are preparing to retire or adjusting to life as a widow. Right before a class came, I had one of my clients call me and say, hey, Randy, I need to tell you my wife passed away September 6th. And uh, he said, I want to come in and talk. And you know what? I didn't know she had passed away. I, I feel bad about that, but I, I guess I just got too busy. They came to me on their own because I had done their estate plan years ago. You know, repeat sales and word of mouth are excellent tactics for building momentum. You know, when I, when I go into a delivery and I'm going to go to somebody's home, I tell them to have two witnesses. I, it excites me because those witnesses are going to see what's going on. And almost every time they say, I need to do that. And that's why you want to carry those round toots in your pocket. Give them one. They'll laugh at you and they'll like you and they'll make an appointment. All you got to do is say, you know what? I think you might benefit from a conversation with me about your current estate plan. And sometimes I even, I get overwhelmed because of the momentum that that one sentence does. It's like a snowball, a snowball rolling down a steep hill. So, so there's a secret I want to share with you now that you understand what happens to a patch of ivy. There are many financial services professionals who do not know or understand what I'm teaching you. And again, I call it the cycle of success. I'm not going to go deep into it right now. But but if, you, if you're interested at all, you'll be interested in my Each One, Reach One, Teach One program. But anyway, before we do that, I'm getting ready to go into my software. And... I'm just going to apply my magic hands here. And, and if you'll just be patient with me a minute, we're going to go look at the software a minute. We can <laughs> see it, Randall. That looks great. It? We can see it. Yeah, we can see yeah. the family okay. estate docs website. Okay, so, so, we're going to go in and sign in as soon as I get my mouse over there to the other side of the window. I think it goes this way. There it is. Okay. All right. There's my software. You've got one just like it. There's only only real difference you've got there 
is the master licensees have this uh, network page right here where you can go in and view your current licensees and the team where you I can go and do my my full team and all my team sales but that's not what i want you to learn today i want you to learn to click on this button right here your sales button and if you look at it you've got your client sales and look what happens when you click on it and this is the easiest software in the world you get your landing page when i first looked at this i had to turn around to somebody and say well what is the landing page and the landing page has got my price on it right there, $1,995. But if I uh, want to, I, I can go over to marketing and look at my promo codes and I can adjust the price. And all I have to do once I see what I want to do to adjust the, the price, I can go back to my landing page and I can click, sorry, I can click on sales, go to client sales, and I can punch in that promo code and it'll drop the price for me right there on the page. Um, well, what's a good promo code, a good easy promo code? Uh, let me go back and see right there. Um, click on my, my promo code. I can go to transfer $16.95 if I want to lower the price for a client or a friend or, or maybe somebody who's buying two trusts at once. Okay, so I'll go into my, uh, I'm going to go in at, for, for transfer $16.95. Go on my client sales. I'm going to click right there and I'm going to type in transfer $16.95. I'm going to apply the code. I'm going to apply the code. <laughs> Let's see. Well, it's supposed to apply the code. Go back here and try it again. But but what happens is it turns that 1995 into 1695. I don't want to spend too much time on it. You just have to trust me on that one, but it will. Uh, it just didn't click the way I wanted it to. But go back to your sales and look at your free trial. Those those of you who are are slow in marketing, all you got to do is issue a free trial. And if you issue the free trial, you click on it. Oh, there's my internet gone. Backing up a little bit. Yeah, it's still spinning, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, well, don't worry about that. You can go in there and if you click on family estate, that'll circle on the bar on the top. Right you there? Click into up, up, right there, click enter again. Just click enter. I think it was disconnected from there. All right. Lisa, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Randall. We can okay, see okay, the, drop, okay. the sales drop down. Okay, so here's the your free trial. trial. Okay, so, so you know, if you look at somebody and say, hey, I think you might benefit from a conversation with me about your current estate plan, is it okay if I send you a free trial? You know, you want to get as many free trials out to people as, as you have time to issue them. You don't want to issue too many all at once, but if you issued 10 of them uh, on your suspect list and you send them all a free trial, you can call them and say, have you had time to go through the free trial? Most everyone will say no. You say, well, do you have a minute? Let's go look at it. And you go look at it. And then you say, by the way, we better we can better understand this if we draw your family tree. Is that all right? So, you know, use, those of you who want to sell on the internet, uh, uh, or on the Zoom calls, that's the way you do it. You send them a free trial and you talk to them, you draw their family tree. You can also uh, view your customers here uh, uh, for direct sales. Uh, and you can see, uh, maybe you can see it, but you, know, you can go down through here and you can see how many sales we've made. That, that, these are just my sales. I, they're not everybody's sales. But you can see right there that there's a passel of them. And the next thing you click on sales and if you just want to launch a client demo and don't want to send them a free uh, don't want to send them a free look or a free trial you can take them when you click on the it takes you right right to the interview just like if they paid 1995 but you don't have to process any money you take them right to it 
and 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 sell it that way. You can either do it for the free trial, or you can do it just with an open invitation to review the software. Um, the next thing is we can flip over here for marketing, and you got your promo codes that I've already shown you. Look here, you get a whole training manual. Those of you who who are saying, "Hey, I don't know something," go to marketing and click on training manual and read it. Spend a cup of coffee or a cup of water because the coffee machine's broken here today. The the just get some freedom, some time to sit down and read your training manual. What's it going to be worth? I'm going to say if you read that training manual, it might be worth fifty to a hundred thousand dollars to you this year. If you spend an hour just reading your training manual, look at your handout quizzes. I I hand out a lot of these at workshops, and, and people enjoy the quizzes. If you come over here to uh, to marketing, you can you got the four must haves of flyers that you can do benefits of our platform, take control of your legacy. These are all just uh, and, and here's a booklet that you can send to your clients that you can say, hey, let me you know you print it off if you want to or send them the link and let them take a look at the estate planning is very professionally done. You know. Uh, Remember what I said to you a little while ago? You have to be able to, you have to want to, and you have to be willing to do the work. All, all your tools are laid out for you already. Everything. A lot of money's been spent on, on this stuff, and it's all good. So we'll come back over here and look at the um, uh, marketing. Of, um, let's go to forms a minute. You got your credit card authorization form, just the CYA. If you're if you're if, uh, taking some information on the credit card, they give you permission to use it. Your client signing guide, your data entry authorization form. This is just a form that that if if you send it to your client, they're saying, "Hey, uh, Randy, it's okay to put our information in the software." Uh, and we'll talk to you about something else about that here in a minute. But you look there, you got an offline client interview form. When you click on that, you can do a one grantor form or a two grantor form. Uh, for those of you who, who aren't very astute on the internet yet, carry some of these paper forms with you. Do the plan uh, over a cup of coffee in a restaurant. Fill it out and tell them you'll uh, put it in the software form tonight. when you look at your forms, uh, you also got your client end user agreement. Uh, if you'll learn your end user agreement, you'll probably never sell anything for less than $1,995 again, unless, unless there's a reason, because it establishes the value of what you're selling. Uh, I'm going to skip networking team. Uh, you can go over to your account. And it, a lot of people ask me questions. Hey, why didn't I get paid? Uh, the reason, most time, read people don't get paid because they don't put in their social security numbers and their W nines and, and stuff like that. Uh, you can manage your subscription if you, you know, a lot of you folks that that are paying the forty nine ninety five, go ahead and take the step up to four hundred ninety five dollars a year and get your return on your investment on your first sale. You know. Uh, But you can go in and adjust, and, and adjust that. You can do an account review. Okay. Um, and again, there's that. Uh, I don't know what happened to all that brown hair. I think my barber cut it all off. But you can go in and, and read your license agreement. Uh, your uh, You can change your password. You can change your username. People call me all the time. I can't get into my uh, software. I'll go, well, change your password. Because sometimes the password just quits working. I don't know why. Okay, so but here here's the most valuable thing of this that I think of this whole website is you get to go in and, and look, look at your client videos. You know, if you're trying to get somebody interested in and in, uh, and you're gonna send them a video before you say, I think you would benefit from a conversation with me about your current estate plan. Send them one of these videos. Or, uh, which plan do you have? Uh, what's special about a trust? What if you already have a trust? And some people do. So when people say, yeah, uh, Randy, I already have a trust, I can say, hey, why don't you watch this video? So you can do it from home. I think your income will go be higher if you go face to face. So, uh, but there's a storm coming. That's a great video. Um, 
questions for aging parents. And look over here on the left, you got all these, why do I need a financial agent? Why do I need a healthcare agent? What do you mean by pain management? Just any kind of question that, that you can have. You can click on that and send it to one of your clients just to open the conversation. And, and you know what? The more conversations you open, the more sales you're going to make. So, so if you're not opening any conversations, how many sales are you going to make? So uh, it even talks about joint trust for children, uh, uh, long and short version for the best choice for estate planning. I didn't mean to do that. But you can click on any of those things, you know, that right in it. But if you want to, you can share it. So you can click on share and go up here and it'll say familyestatedocs.com. Uh, they'll put it on a clipboard and you say, okay. And then you can go to your email and paste it on that email and say, I thought you might be interested in this video before we talk. And they'll watch that video. They're all about three minutes long. And there's a couple of them a little bit longer. So, uh, so, so anyway, you know, if you spend an hour, just one hour each week, picking the people you want to send these emails to and send them out. And then, and then you can either call them a week later on the same day or call them three days later and, and say, Hey, I sent you that video because I think you might benefit from a conversation with me about your current state plan. They'll make an appointment. And, and you know, this is a, just a theory. But I believe that those of us who do not make many sales uh, are not doing the work they need to do to make more sales. And you have to be willing to do the work. And that's why I said, you know, if you don't make one of those three qualifications, if, if I can determine that you really are not interested in, in, in this because you don't, you're not physically able to do the work or, or don't have the time to do the work, you know, if you're not able to do the work, if you want to work with me, you got to be able to do the work. You got to want to do the work. If you don't want to do the work, uh, I can tell by looking at results. And I, I, I can decide, well, that person doesn't really want to do the work. Uh, and the third one is you got to, you got to be willing to put the time in. If you can do all three of those, you are a great person to take up, uh, state planning and to be coached by somebody like me that wants to teach you how to do it. But uh, it's just like a football coach. If I if I run into a player that's not willing, to, that's not able to make the tackles, or not willing to do the work to get strong, or, or or doesn't want to get to help the team, well, those people need to go away. Because uh, to be honest with you, it's more profitable for me to work with people who have those three qualifications. If I had twenty five, and I do. If I had 25 people that have all three of those qualifications, I'd rather have 25 as 200 people that, that only have two of those three qualifications. So, so anyway, but you've got videos here that can explain everything you need. And then you can go back up and see that those same videos you can have on the li licensee level. Is something, they have the same title, but they're, they're told from a different perspective. And look here, there's a storm coming, the million dollar sales tool, you know, uh, Watch this for a second. This is so cool. That's that's Uh, Randall, we can't hear what he's saying. I'm sorry. What, Lisa? We can't hear the video. Well, that's okay. Let's don't worry about it. Uh, go click on it and listen to it. You know, if, if you are serious about being a licensee, I just want to show you that, that your software is very, very strong. It's very, very professionally done. And, and I just want to get you to use it. Um, real quick here so so you know uh, i don't think there's any way i'm going to be able to do everything on the whole process um uh, uh, you know we've got the master licensee program we've got the um uh, let's go to a blank screen here real quick 
you know, we, we've got the training program on Mondays. You know, at nine o'clock, you can come in and learn about developing a suspect. Um, no, it's okay. I just want to talk to him a minute. You know, if you develop those 10 suspects, I'll teach you how to build the bridge to make them prospects. I'll teach you how to take that prospect and use the, the family tree asset positioning go to first interview um, and how to close those cases. I'll teach you how to deliver the estate plans. I'll teach you how, how to say, Hey, uh, uh, you've done a pretty good job with your assets. Uh, when you come back in to pick up your estate plan, uh, it gives me time to do some research and to run some numbers. When you come back in, would you like to see your numbers? That's, you know, people say yes. And you know what they said yes to is is an appointment for the back end sale, and you won't get them all. I think I told you a couple of weeks ago. I, people tell me no sometimes. I don't know why they do that. They do tell me no, but but um, three out of seven tell me yes, and those three are usually really nice, and it usually pays my bills for fifty sixty days. So so you know that that's where we are. Um, I guess I'm going to have to continue this because it's getting a little late, but, but uh, I'd sort of like to just ask you guys a question. Lisa, if you get any, any uh, do we need to go back to the PowerPoint to get you to raise your hand and ask a question? Does anybody out there have any questions so far? I have a question. Go ahead. I don't know if somebody was before me. So when I signed on, it was right before I found out that I was sick. Um, I am better now. Um, but in between that time, I was able to do one trust. But when I okay. log on now, it goes to the one trust that I did and has my client's username and password. Okay. I All don't right. remember or where to find my username or password. I okay. don't know All where right. it is. Is this Raina? Yes. I can tell by your voice already, Raina. Okay, yeah. Raina. Yeah. Uh, all you have to do is go to that little bar where it, it's doing that one trust you sold. Mm -hmm. And just clear it out and put your email address in your, okay. your login is your email address. Okay. And then if, if you're, if you didn't save your password, it's going to give you a little sentence down there that says forgot password question mark. Oh yeah, it actually did. It did. Okay. I guess, I guess we, it did remember it. I didn't know if it did or not. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, so, so, see, right. you know, everybody learns on a different curve and, and I think <laughs> you just made a big stride. So, so now, yeah, yeah, I have one. I'll be putting in. I have another sale underway that right. I'll be doing this right. week. So, I can't wait till you're doing four, five, six a month. And and yes. if you do that, you'll start mm -hmm. cooking those back end sales. And and uh, uh, you know, if you want us to introduce you to the consultants we use, we will, but we won't force you to. And and uh, uh, we'll we'll help answer your questions on products, and we'll do everything we can to get to get those zeros on the end of your income. And that's what that's Thank what this you. process does. It, it adds zeros to your income. Uh, and to be honest with you, I think everybody here could if you just added one zero to your income, you'd be cooking. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, Mike posted in the chat. He said, I'm just stopping by to pick up some of that super randy energy, getting through <laughs> the busy roofing season. Hope the storms are finished. I will have the marketing dollar and will be all set for implementation, transition to this career, getting a little long in the tooth for scampering on roofs. Well, Mike, attend that Monday morning meeting at nine o'clock and, and, and let's get the basics done. Let's build your foundation with 10 suspects. Remember, you and I have talked about the kind of suspects I think you ought to be approaching uh, people just like you that 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 need need an estate plan but but uh yes i want you to come join us and and uh i i, I don't know what i think i just I, i'll be honest with you, I, you you couldn't do it but i had to buy a roof the other day and it was um fifteen thousand dollars um and they're expensive uh, anymore you know yeah well i had you know what i had to sell 12 estate plans to pay for it no -uh. <laughs> yeah. you yeah. maybe two at the most well, yeah, I know you well, get those back ends. Well, Only I one. Back ends. That's true. <laughs> uh, I did make a good back end sale, and that gave me the confidence and the 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 energy to go ahead and put me a new roof on there. 
But your insurance so, company probably should have covered it. I should have come down and fought your insurance company well, for you. Well, <laughs> listen, we all, we all learn from each other. I had an old slate roof that was 92 years old. Oh, wow. And the wind was blowing the slate off. <laughs> So, well, that would uh, make it non-repairable. So you could they yeah. should you they should have got well, your insurance company, but the, they they know. came in and paid me twenty four hundred dollars to repair it. Ah. And then I just was you know after I got it repaired, it, the the other shingles started blowing off, and then they said, "Well, uh, we've already paid you." Yeah, so, that's what they'll do. That's what yes, yeah, so, you know. So what I did was I just said, "I want a new roof." And I just figured out what I had to do. I stated the answer and asked the questions how to get there. And I got there pretty quick in about three or four weeks. I said, okay, new roof on top of go. what I have to pay, pay. This is what I have to earn. This is how many people I need to see. And this is what I need to sell. So, uh, boom. boom, that's right. That's right. Well, I'm, it's good to hear from you, Mike. You Somebody see. else asked us a question, but thank you, Mike. Anything else out there, Lisa? Nothing more in the chat, Randall. Oh, come on. Watch the videos. Please watch those videos. You know, they'll teach you so much. Um, and, and I said something earlier uh, today. Um, a goal is just a dream without a plan. And and I mean it. It's true. So... Uh, I got one more question, Randy. Go ahead. If go ahead. It's okay. And if it's not yes. appropriate for here, just tell me right away. No, 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 uh, let's go ahead. So, so I've been somebody's been sending me stuff to do uh, uh, estate plans through estate gurus, and I tried to research them. All I can find is bad stuff. Have you ever even heard of them? Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of uh, uh, there's a lot of software out there. A lot of software, and you know. Um, I tell people all the time, it's not the software, it's the implementation of the marketing. And, 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 uh, you know, I could do just as well with another company software because I do well with the marketing. So, it, so I like the software I'm using cause it's the easiest to learn. It's the least expensive and it's the most thorough and, awesome. and, and Thank you. you know, uh, doing that. Uh, but, but, you know, we have with lots of people who have the license who don't produce anything. When I, when I try to go in and figure out why they're not producing, it's because they are not implementing the marketing. And that's, you know, I never thought I, when I grew up, I was going to be a marketer, but that's what I am. That's what I do. I just, I, I just love it. I know that if I lay the carpet out, people will walk down the aisle and, and uh, uh, this is just one product where the income potential uh, is totally in your hands. I, I told the, I told Linda uh, yesterday. I said I don't want to make any money in October. I think I just want to rest. Mm -hmm. and, and 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 I realized that I had already made all the money I needed for October. So so I'm still going to work. I'm still going to do my shows. I'm I'm still going to do everything. But I don't think I'm going to uh, work as hard in October as I have every other month this year, just so I can slow down and take a little break and and. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm not going to do, I'll probably do back in sales and I'll probably do trust sales, but I'm not going to uh, force, hey, force anything. Hey, Randy. Yes, sir. This is Carter. Hey, Carter. Remember, I'm making you money in October. Well, I knew that. I just wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> I'm teasing you. <laughs> you know, but, but, you know, uh, my students who do what I show them get to a fast start and they start making money quickly. Carter, you're one of them. You, we came in and we had a low turnout on our workshop, and and we sold a lot of trust. We sold one today, didn't we? So, um, and and the, the the one we sold today only had about a million dollars. Huh. But anyway, um, yeah. Any any other questions or statements? I listen. Uh, uh, I know if you're able, and I know if you want to. And if you're willing to, those are the three qualifications that, it, that I can show you the steps to take. I'll show you if you make a mistake. I'll show you uh, uh, what you're doing right. And I'll help you build your tempo. And once I get your natural tempo going, I'll teach you how to build momentum. And um, by then, yes, go ahead. Uh, hi, Randall. I have a question. Ah, okay. Do we, uh, if somebody has an existing trust, do we review their trust if they ask us for it? Or do what do you do if somebody has a trust? 
you just uh, do yeah. family tree and go through the whole thing or yeah i pretend like they don't have one no and, if and they have can... one they well, have yeah, that's one okay that's okay i you draw the family tree Hey, yeah. Karen, review the different roles uh, in the trust. Didn't that woman go from the HOA that found that trust? I mean, the deed? Uh, Carter, I don't know. Let, let me answer uh, uh, Felicia's question here. Um, Felicia, there, there's a video in there um, uh, on the client side that says, what if you already have a trust? You should watch that video. I, I, you don't replace the trust. You do a restatement. And if, if you do a restatement, you don't have to move the deeds. Um, uh, but but they'll probably, you know, remember, I've always, I've always told everybody, people have relationship changes, they have asset changes, they have health changes. When that happens, they want to review their trust. And and you're the one that's going to show up and go, hey, I think you might benefit from a conversation with, with me about your current plan. The, their current plan may include a trust. It's okay. Don't be afraid of it. Um, I bet you it's probably not properly funded. Even if it's properly written, it's probably not properly funded. So yeah, you'll find business there. And, and then they'll go, boy, that Felicia really helped me. Uh, you ought to talk to her. Does that answer your question? Um, yes, thank you for that. One of them, I had it. Um, I mean, she said that she did it through an attorney originally. Now the house is paid off. And they like somebody to review that if it's less than their lawyer. Um, of course. Well, that's and true. She, and, she asked and, me and, to ask the company if we, our lawyer here does any reviews of the existing trust well, or not. Well, I, you know, uh, Courtney would be happy to review one, uh, but mm -hmm. she's a Tennessee lawyer. You need a California lawyer. Yes. Okay. But you can review it. You don't have to be an attorney to review their trust. You can go in and, and click on sales, go back up to, uh, let's see if I can just guide you to it real quick. Go back up to sales and launch a client demo or send them a free trial right there. Either one of those. And go, if you click on, click on launch client demo, uh, you get to go to the interview. You can go to the interview or if you want to, Click review your trust, you know, but go to your interview and fill it out. You don't, you know, you don't have to charge them a fee for that. Uh, if I charge fees, I don't think I'd make much money, as much money as I make, because I'm not looking uh, for the fee as a, uh, I'm looking for the back end sale. And if they come to me, they're going to get an offer for, to properly fund that trust. And, and, Three out of seven are going to say, yeah. Yes, thank you. Okay. What else we got out there? I know you're busting to ask a question. Ask it. It's okay. Talk to me. Tell me what you want to know or tell me what you'd like to know. If you don't, I'm going to hang up. Uh, nothing more in the chat, Randall. Okay. All right. We're going to continue this conversation next week. I've got some more tools to show you. Uh, I want to talk to you about the uh, um, each one, reach one, teach one. You know, we've got the boot camp coming up in Baltimore. Uh, if you want to be part of that, let me know. I'll send you the information. Um, we've got the classes on Monday, and each class takes you to the, new, the next level. I will not let you in the next level class until you have qualified on the level that I put you in on. <laughs> because there's too many of you, and I, I got to work with the ones that are able and want to, and are willing. I just, I have to. I'm getting too old. But anyway, uh, anything else? I hope you guys have, a, there's, there's no holiday this week. Oh, I know, the holiday, uh, Tennessee plays Oklahoma, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. That's a holiday. You guys take care. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Bye. Right. Bye.